moisture in the air for the power stage at the Acropolis Rally Greece. It didn't dampen the enthusiasm for the bonus points that were now on offer. A 10 second penalty for a jump start on Friday took the wind out of Danny Sordo's weekend. He'd done well, he'd brought his car home for the Hyundai team in the highest possible position. Fourth place, but he'd missed out on any bonus points. When Elvin and Thierry stumbled on Friday, Seb Auger's requirement from this rally changed completely. Victory from first on the road was always going to be very hard for the championship leader. When Tanak and Rov and Perra blazed off over the hills, Seb just let them go. And he wasn't the quickest here, now in the power stage. So what was going to happen next? Voigt Tanak was about to ask some questions of Kalarov and Perra. Whose soft tyres were in the best condition? Who wanted this win the most? But as the end of the stage got nearer and the clock showed Oit easily holding his second place, but not able to match the benchmark set by Elvin Evans earlier on. So it was all set for Kala. Rodenpera and Jona Hauptmann had been the stars of this Greek show. But who were they fighting? Tanak or Evans in the power stage? To take on both now required a Herculean effort. Did Kala want to make this a perfect weekend? A win and five bonus points. It was in reach. He couldn't resist it. Victory on the stage and in the event. A true classic. Kala's winning margin a whopping 42 seconds from Oit Tanak in second and the defending champion Oshie in third. Watch WRC Plus on all devices. WRC Plus, all live.